Hello, 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 and welcome to another thrilling episode of Prog Review. Uh, today it's Fields, uh, Feeling Free. This is, a, this is a new reissue. It's a new reissue, everyone. Uh, fields, who and what are Fields? Um, uh, formed in 1971, features Andy McCulloch, uh, Graham Field and Alan Barry. Uh, McCulloch drummed with King Crimson, um, worked with Greenslade, and I think he did, yeah, did some a little bit with Anthony Phillips. Uh, Graham Field, formerly of Rare Bird, uh, Alan Barry, I'm not sure. I haven't done my research. Should have read the, should have, uh, should have read the booklet. <laughs> now he was a member of the Downland, the Dowlands, the Dowland Brothers. Um, which again, he formed with uh, the Giles brothers. So, progressive rock band, Re- progressive rock band, eh? Now I've avoided these people for a long time because <laughs> I was worried that I was worried I was going to be right. But I saw this package. I'll show you the package. It's um, it's good if you, if you if you like this. It's great. Shiny, look, it's, it's very, it's got a lot of shine on it. Have you noticed that? It's got the artwork. Um, there's a, let's see, look, look at that, isn't that good? Look, look at that, look how it kind of goes funny. Um, and there you go. And so you've got the the first album, and then you've got the, well, the second album wasn't really the second album because it got canned, it got shit canned. First album um, was called. Well, it's called Fields, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> and the second album. What was the second album? Uh, Contrasts, which was actually released originally released in 2015, because the the tapes they didn't really they didn't release it, and so it got released back then, um, because I think the record company listened to the first album, and came to the same conclusion that I had was this yeah this is a load of shit. There's a booklet. There's a booklet as well. There's a booklet you can read all about the exploits of, of fields. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Yeah? Look at that. You can look at that. Look. It's like an unboxing. Look at that. And there's a picture of them. Look. Look. And there's some words for you to read. There's some words from, for you to read. Look. And there they are. Look. There's the people that are in it. Wow. And there's even more words. See, now you, you've seen the booklet. If you pause this, you can read the words. See? And it's, and it's written by some someone, some loser. Uh, uh, was it Claire Hamill's uh, uh, biggest heckler? Yeah, I think that's fair to say. Um so yeah, I mean, it's if you if you like this shit, it's great. I personally, I found it awful. I just it, it annoyed me. It's you because you you think oh this could be interesting because it's a three piece. It's kind of it's keyboard, it's keyboard led, but uh, it's got that blues kind of thing running through it, and makes me want to wretch. It makes me want to wretch. It does the whole blues prog. It's just crap. It's derivative crap because um, it's not enough to. It's not authentic enough to be blues, and it's not technical or interesting enough uh, to be prog either. Um, and there are reason why certain bands fall by the wayside. Because I, I buy it. Why do you? Well, uh, if uh, if you didn't like it, why did you buy it? Go on, put it in the comments. I dare you. Put it in the comments. You fucking morons. Do it. Um, why did I buy it? Because I put off buying it because I had a funny feeling I wasn't going to like it because there is a reason that these bands died. There's a reason. There's a reason why some bands succeeded and are, and are well, um, well thought of and there's a reason why some just died. And that's, that's it. It's, it's, it's quite obvious. But I'm always on the lookout for something that's going to delight me and 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 prove me wrong you know because it's so it's the burden such a burden 
being right all the time. It's so hard on me. You don't know, you know, look at me. I'm only 21, but it's just worn me down being right all the time. You know, so I, I like to be proved wrong. And that's why I buy these things. And, oh, you didn't listen to it enough. That's like me serving you a sandwich with my own excrement in it and saying, enjoy it. And you complain. And I say, well, you obviously haven't eaten enough of it. Eat more of it. And you'll, you'll, you'll learn. You'll love it. You'll learn to enjoy it. Hmm? What do you mean? You're not enjoying me hammering your scrotum to a piece of wood. Once the sixth nail goes in, you will enjoy this. You are allowed to enjoy it. Remember that. Yeah? Let's put those whingers to bed, isn't it? Cause they're, just, they're, they're defunct. They've got no idea. They think they're proving an amazing point. But, you know, they were not blessed with brain cells. So, yeah, it's a very... It's a very derivative, blues-led, you know, uh, blah kind of <laughs> record. And it will be going on eBay shortly. Andrew, if you're watching, <laughs> uh, it'll be going on eBay. It's just not, it wasn't for me. And if you like this kind of stuff, great. But it's about as prog as, I don't know, Asia. <laughs> Again, I fell into the trap because you've got members of Rare Bird, King Crimson, the La Dowland Brothers. <laughs> Should have put that on the sticker, <laughs> on the hype sticker, to lure me in even further. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd take a punt on it. Um, I thought it was a good deal, you know, because it was, um, like I say, the complete. And again, I'm, uh, Esoteric do a really good job um, putting these things together for the price and everything. Because there's a lot of music here to get through. If you are a fan, it's it scores a five out of five. You know, the package itself is five. Album for me. Uh, one you know I'm even handed I'm even handed yeah so if you want the ultimate fields experience this be it um, but <laughs> boy oh boy boy oh boy was it a hard slog and there's two CDs of it as well Ugh. But I do this for you. I do this for your entertainment. Not that anyone cares. Not anyone's watching. One's given up now. He's killed the channel. There's not enough Pink Floyd. Um, no, you're right. There isn't, is there? So, yeah. Um, you've seen the package. Um, yeah, good. it's good. The package is good. The music isn't, in my opinion. Your mileage may vary. You may have different ears. You may have a different brain. You have made different tastes, and we are allowed to like and dislike different things. It's all part of the human experience. You are not a drone. You are allowed to have your own tastes. Yeah? Yeah. And I'm allowed to criticise, and we're allowed to agree on that. Yeah? Yeah? You might not like it, but guess what? It's only a fucking record. It's not like I'm fucking your dad, is it? You know, come on. And he's enjoying it. Um, so, yeah. So that's that. I think I've gone on enough. I think I, I think I've witted on. You call that a review? No, I don't. I don't call this a review because this 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 record is so bad. It's not even worth my attention. It's just Esoteric did a really good job of of putting this compilation because they do. They're consistent, consistent. You know, with their with their packages. So I'm, I'm giving them that. Buy it. <laughs> but listen on 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 YouTube first. <laughs> A stinker. Maybe that maybe that could be the the thumbnail. <laughs> anyway, I've done enough damage. Maybe maybe I'll get. Well, Graham Field's dead, so Andy McCulloch might uh, throw his drumsticks at me. Alan Barry is he still going? Uh, apparently, Barry went on to be a founder member of the late seventies era UK rock band King Harry. Thanks, Wikipedia. Without you, we'd know nothing. I'd just be an empty-headed fool. And with that, there's only one more thing left to say, and that is prog on. I dare you. I double dare you. Prog on. <laughs>